How's it guys? Today I have a really easy teleport tutorial in Premiere Pro for somebody who's just starting out. It kind of looks something like this. So let's jump straight in and I'll show you how you can do it. So what you need for this effect to work is two videos. The first video is yourself pretending to teleport like that. And the second one is you out of the picture and moving some objects in the background. So my desk is shaking a bit. Could have been shaking a bit more, but I was too scared that my lights would fall off because they were balancing delicately. But this is gonna have to do. Right, what you wanna do then is take your first clip and push it up and go to the end where you are wanting to teleport and right click and click on add frame hold. You can extend this by a few frames if you want. I'm gonna extend it by that much. One, two, three, four, five frames is perfect. And then you're going to stick your second video underneath that. So this clip that I've got selected is going where the animation is actually gonna happen, where the actual teleportation will happen. And if we play through it quickly, you'll see you have the basics of a teleportation. I'm gonna just cut this off so that that desk starts moving a little bit sooner. So look. So you can play through it. Yeah, that looks a lot better. It just looks a bit more realistic. Next, what you need to do, it's a little bit tedious, but you need to select the frame hold and you need to draw a mask all around your subject. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to keep it as close to the subject as possible. So I'm going to do that by selecting my clip, clicking on my pen tool over here and zooming in and drawing a mask around myself. I'll fast forward this and I'll catch you on the other side. All right, now my mask is done. I'm just gonna bring the feather down slightly, take it to about three, four pixels is fine. And then right click on that clip that you just masked and you're gonna nest it. Call it whatever you want. I have a nested clip. So with the nested clip selected, let's just zoom back out and fit the screen. You can play with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna animate a scale by starting at 100% and I'm gonna scale all the way down to zero. And as I scrub through, you can see that's a basic animation of the teleportation. You see the problem that I have because of the size of my room in this case is my legs get cut off. Fortunately, the animation is happening so quickly, you probably won't notice it, but if you want it to look good and look proper, I recommend that to get your whole body into the frame like I mentioned earlier. Also, another point is make sure that your camera's focus is not set on autofocus. Keep it on manual focus so that the focus stays the same. If you're standing in the frame and moving out of the frame, that the camera doesn't start to search for focus and blur your background and completely ruin your effect. You need the background to stay in the same focus from start to finish, whether you're in the frame or out of it. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna worry about my legs. Okay, but instead of scaling it with the normal properties, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an effect called the transform effect onto this and drag that onto our nested sequence and we're going to scale with the transform effect because you can get some good motion blur with the transform effect so i'm scaling from 100 to zero untick the use composition shutter speed and i'm going to put a shutter angle of 180 that is so much better with some motion blur in fact i think this is too long i might shorten it i'm going to bring it in one frame so that i scale to zero within four frames so now if we play through it we have the basis of our animation. That's already looking good. I mean, some people might be happy with that, some of the motion blur, but what you want to do to make it look even better and a bit more realistic and just to have some of that extra dimensions like you are shifting and teleporting through one dimension into another is you want to add a turbulent displace. But in order to do that, you're going to have to first add an adjustment layer. So I'm going to drag an adjustment layer onto the top of my nested sequence, match the length and then go back to my effects and drag the turbulent displace on top of my adjustment layer. These are the settings on the left and you can see it already makes some cool warpy effects. So amount, we can stick to 50. Size, let's make that a thousand, nice and big. And our evolution, you can pull down to minus 250 around there. Make sure that your pinning uh, dropdown is selected on pin or locked. And then all you need to do is you need to animate from zero. You need to animate your amount from zero to 50 and back to zero. So right in the middle, I'll animate at 50. Then I'll start it at zero. So I'll drag this all the way to the beginning. And then holding the option or alt key, I'm just gonna click on that keyframe and uh, duplicate it and push it to the end. So we're starting at zero here, going to 50 and going back to zero. So now if we play through, the video should look like this. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, feel free to play around with some of those settings. Guys, if this was helpful, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, you can check out some of my other videos on my channel and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.